So this concept of a national divorce has come up increasingly. And I'll tell you the thing that made me sad is if there's one thing that Marjorie Taylor Greene has said that most of her opponents agree with most, it was her call for that national divorce. Now, she's since clarified what she meant, but put that put her comments to one side. Let's just talk about this idea. The more we talk about a divorce, whether it's in a marital relationships or whether it's in a relationship among citizens, the more likely it is to happen. But why is that? Why are we talking about it now? We've always been a divided, diverse democracy. What's causing it to come up now? It has to do with the issue that I have been focused on for the last three years of my life. That is the politicization of our economy and corporate America itself. That's a big part of it. Because you know what, Alexis de Tocqueville, he traveled this country, what, some 160 odd years ago. He made an observation, which is that a diverse, divided democracy is not supposed to stand for more than a couple of generations. It can only exist, he said, if there are certain intermediary institutions that hold us together across our differences that are kept apolitical. And you know what number one on that list is? Is actually our system of free market capitalism in America. That is the apolitical sphere that's our glue that binds us together. The baseball stadiums of this country, the football stadiums of this country, the workplaces of this country where people come together, regardless of whether they're black or white or even Democrat or Republican, with some sense of common purpose. That is the last best chance for a divided society to stand. And so everything that we talk about relating to the ESG movement or stakeholder capitalism or woke capitalism, these aren't just theoretical concepts. That's actually what gets us to the doorstep of a national divorce. And I say the more we depoliticize the private sector, the more likely we are to find common cause as Americans.